Find a pair of leggings that fit your child well and turn them inside out. Trace the pattern pieces for the front of your leggings. You don't have to allow for seam allowance because your leggings are already turned wrong side out. Trace along both sides of the legs and across the bottom. When you trace along the top of your waist, remember that your waist will slope down, so your hips will be higher than the center of your waist. When you trace along the center seam, make sure to keep your curve. Make a note on your pattern to add one inch at the waist when cutting out your pattern and to add half an inch at the hem. Now it's time to trace the back pattern pieces for your leggings. Do this the same way you trace the front pieces of your pattern. The waist in the back will be slightly higher in the center and lower at the hips, the opposite of the way it was with the front pieces. Once again, make sure you keep the slope along the crotch when you trace the center back seam. Label your pattern pieces front and back and make a note to cut two pieces of each pattern piece. Cut out your pattern pieces and lay them with side seams next to each other. The highest point of your waist should be on the left and your lowest point of your waist should be on your right. There will be a half an inch difference from the lowest point to the highest point. Place your ruler across the highest and lowest points and draw a line all the way across your pattern. Next, fine tune the hem of your pattern pieces. If one side is longer than the other, go with the longer piece because you can always make the hem shorter later. Measure half an inch past the longest piece of the pattern and mark it with Taylor's chalk or disappearing ink pen. You just successfully created your own pattern from a pair of leggings you already had. Now it's time to cut out your fabric. You can find more tutorials and sewing inspiration on my blog at telefonte.com. And be sure to follow me on Instagram at Telefonte. Thanks for watching.